creeps, it's Cameron again, and welcome back to Library Macabre, where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things spooky. And today I will be reviewing The Night Will Find Us by Matthew Lyons. The Night Will Find Us by Matthew Lyons is a story of six teenagers who go into the New Jersey Pine Barrens for a camping trip. But what the teenagers don't know is that Parker, a member of their group, is not there to go camping. He is really there to find his dad who disappeared in the Pine Barrens not long ago. Parker, however, ever since the disappearance of his father and his mother's alcoholism, has a lot of issues. And something happens very early on in the book that I am I'm not gonna spoil, I'm not gonna talk about it, because it really shocked me uh, how fast this happened. This book wastes no time to get into the conflict and the action. And not only do the teenagers have to worry about the human horrors that they're facing, they also have to worry about supernatural horrors because the Pine Barrens are full of monsters, spirits. It is filled with cosmic terrors that begin to poison the minds of each of the kids and turn them into something else. I don't want to give away a single thing else because when I went into this book I thought I was just gonna get a story about some kids going in the woods, um, the woods start playing with their minds and they start turning on each other which is part of it for sure but there's a lot more to it um, and there's some really intense scenes, uh, some things that really got under my skin. I ended up really enjoying this from the body horror elements to the conflict between the kids. I also really like the relationship between our main characters, Parker and Chloe. I thought their bond was very strong. And I really liked Parker as a character. I thought he was very well developed and I, I understood where he was coming from, even though his decisions were not wise and um, definitely lead to a lot of danger. I just felt bad for him. As for the other characters, that would that would be the, the main thing that I didn't like about the book, is that I felt like all of the other characters were, I don't know, they were just kind of there, um, a bit flat. The teenagers don't really feel like real teenagers. They, they kind of feel like teenagers that you would see in an 80s slasher film, where they're supposed to be teenagers, but they're clearly like 25 years old. And that's how I felt about the characters here. They acted more like they were in their early 20s. They didn't really act like teenagers. Also their reactions and their responses to certain things didn't seem very believable to me. They felt a little bit forced. So really the main character that I liked and believed was Parker and then I did like Chloe toward the end of the book. The rest of the characters didn't feel real to me at all. But that did not stand in the way of my enjoyment of the book at all. I thought this was a blast of a time. It took a lot of sharp twists and turns that I was not expecting, uh, especially early on in the book. Like I thought that they would at least go a couple of nights with just weird things happening here and there, but no, it, it kicks off and it gets right into it, and there was not a dull moment to be found. I also felt a little bit emotional toward the end of the book, mostly because of Parker and Chloe's connection. They are cousins and they've been best friends since they were little kids, so that connection is very strong. Now my friend Tony over here, he read The Night Will Find Us after I got done with it. So Tony, how many pumpkins are you gonna give this book? Four pumpkins, yeah. I totally agree, dude. It is like we are the same person, what the heck. Anyway, if you are interested in reading The Night Will Find Us by Matthew Lyons, a very solid camping horror story, I will leave links down below in the graveyard. This book is available right now. Thank you so much for watching this review, and thank you to Turner Publishing for sending along an ARC. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Library Macabre. Later, creeps.